Hi everybody, this is John and we're talking about the resolution of PowerPoint slides that are imported into ProPresenter 5. This might apply to 6 also, in which case you have a nice little nugget here. Uh, we were having a challenge in that our nicely designed PowerPoint slides, which were uh, produced in Photoshop at a 1920 by 1080 full HD resolution, were importing into ProPresenter in the wrong uh, resolution, a much smaller resolution, and it was giving us trouble. And here's why. So I'm going to close this PowerPoint presentation so that we can import it, and we'll show you what the issue was. When I import PowerPoint, AAA, we're going to see a resolution warning in the top part of the screen. There it is. So it's warning us that these slides that we imported are smaller than our output resolution, which is full HD. There it is right there. It asks us to resize it. I'm not going to do that because it doesn't fix anything. It only takes our tiny little photos and scales them up and keeps them chunky. Let me show you what our resolution is. If we click on this graphic, we can see we're running a 1920 by 405 image here, which obviously uh, has a lot of aliasing, is chunky, doesn't look good on our 1080 screens. So we need to fix this. And here's, uh, it took a lot of searching, but I finally figured out how to do it. So let me get rid of this. And we'll go back to PowerPoint and we'll show you where the hidden thing is. Uh, you can see I've got just a brand new PowerPoint presentation up here. If I click this and go to page setup, which is where it's hiding, it says I've got an on-screen show 4x3. Now you should select 16x9 if you're outputting on a 16x9 presentation, which we are, which is full HD. And you can see that our width is 10 inches, our height is 5.63. What PowerPoint doesn't tell you is that they have a default, default value of 72 dpi. It's no longer changeable, okay? It's fixed. Older versions, you could change it, now you can't. So if I took 10 inches and I multiplied by 72 dpi, or pixels per inch, ppi, you can see we've got 720 pixels. Our, our value of 5.625, this is rounded to 5.63. It's actually 5.625 times 72 dpi. That's our value of 405 pixels. So we need to change these values. Now, why is a digital presentation software using inches as their standard unit? Only for those people that print PowerPoint slides, and that's not what we're doing. We use PowerPoint for digital presentation. So let's clear this. Let's do our math. We have a 19 by 20 horizontal resolution. Let's divide that by 72 pixels per inch. 26.6 repeating is our value. So let's uh, remember that. And then we've got a 1080 divided by 72 dpi, and we've got a value of 15 inches the other way. Okay, so we're done with that. Thank you. Let's go to 26.67. It's not going to let us put in... Oh, it will. So let's put in some more values. And then we're going to go to 15 inches that way. Okay. Now it's going to give us a warning. Hey, if you try to print this, it'll be way too big for your paper. I understand I'm not printing it. So we're going to say, okay, there, changed my value. So now uh, let's go back in. Let's take a look at my presentation. Now remember, all these graphics were 1080 graphics. And if I go to page setup, it's telling me I'm only running this 10 inch thing. So let's change this guy. Okay, there's my resolution warning, I understand. All right, let's save our changes. I need to close this because I won't be able to import into ProPresenter without it. Import, PowerPoint, AAA. I assume since the graphics are bigger, it takes a little bit longer. And there it is. Look, no resolution warning in the upper part of the screen. If I click on this guy and take it to the editor, you can see that I'm working with a 1920 by, well, because of my rounding, I've got a 1920 by a quarter by 1080 image. So I've got a quarter pixel that's going to be cut off. I think I can live with that. But now I've just saved myself... 15 minutes of exporting each of these slides manually and reassembling it. So I hope that helps you guys out there. That's five minutes of your life that could save you 15 minutes a week. God bless and see you.